I'm going to show you guys how to produce your own continued fraction. So here we go. First, we're going to consider x minus 1. We're going to factor this. So of course, look at this as square root of x. And you square that minus 1 square right here. And now, of course, factor this, we get square root of x minus 1 times square root of x plus 1 right here. Huh? And now, I'm going to look at this and that. I'm going to keep this on one side. So we have square root of x minus 1. This is going to be what? This over that, right? So we have x minus 1 over square root of x plus 1. And now, I'm going to add one on both sides. We have square root of x. This right here is equal to 1 plus x minus 1 over. Over, I'm actually going to write this as 1 plus square root of x like this and this is actually the formula that we need have to look pick a number that you want so let's say x is equal to 3 in that case you get square root of 3 right here this is equal to 1 yes it's just going to be 1 plus 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and over 1 plus as you can see right here we have what yes square root of 3 but notice square root of 3 is equal to what square root of 3 is of course equal to that which is 1 plus 2 over 1 plus square root of 3 right so what we can do is of course you can just put this right there right here haha <laughs> uh, so ladies and gentlemen right here have a look Square root of 3 is equal to, um, over there we have 1 over, we have 1 plus 2 over 1 plus, and we have this which is just that, which is just 1 plus 2 over 1 plus square root of 3. So now you see this is 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 1 is of course 2, so we have 2 plus 2 over 1 plus square root of 3 is 1 plus 2 over 1 plus square root of 3. But 1 plus 1 is 2, so you can see that it's 1 plus 2 over 2 plus 1, 2. <laughs> You know the deal. This right here is just going to be 2 plus 2 over 2 plus da da da. Yeah, here you go. So, yeah, I know. I know, I know. But once in a while, anyway, that's it. <laughs>